We have a special performance here in studio happening next week. The Montgomery Symphony Orchestra is holding what they call the Spain to Life. It's a Masterworks concert. Joining me now is Maestro Jamie Rees and celloist Zhao Young Show. Thank you all so much for joining uh, us. Thank you for thank having, you for having us. us. Dr. Rees, tell us about this upcoming performance. How do you bring Spain to life? So we have three pieces on our program that are inspired by Spanish culture, from Beethoven to the Russian composer Rimsky-Korsakov and Mexican composer Arturo Marquez. It's all based on Spanish dance rhythms and melodies, which is a really exciting, fun performance. And we also have the Elgar Cello Concerto which Zhao Young will play the solo part. Zhao Young, I heard you practicing a little bit. We're going to get a sneak <laughs> peek coming up. But tell us about yourself. How long have you been playing, and how excited are you for this performance? Um, I've actually started when I was five. And of course. Not all musicians know. always say that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's probably been 20-something years. Um, the piece that I'm going to play, as Jamie said earlier, is the Elgar Cello Concerto. And as the preparation going, is actually very intense because it's a, such an intense piece as Elgar was composed at, right after the World War I and uh, it's a heavy and melancholy piece but you know as always at the end there's so much hope in it. For people who've never experienced anything like this why would you encourage them to come out to this event? Well I think that this concert really gives you everything that you want in a classical music concert. Okay, you have the standard repertoire, the cello concerto by Elgar, but also a lot of fun music. The other pieces on the program are relatively short. Uh, and in total, we're looking at like an hour of music. We take an intermission. So it's a very easy concert to listen to, a very fun one. And uh, yeah, it's a great opportunity to come hear us. Yeah. I always ask this from the mom's perspective. What is it like for both of you? <clears throat> you said you started playing at five. Mm -hmm. When you see a kid in the audience, maybe a five or six year old, and this is their first experience ever. How does that, how does that make you feel? It's actually really exciting because, you know, you see a lot of young people coming to the concert, coming out and see us, and then on the stage we want to try our best, or as my teacher always said, try uh, the best I cannot to actually <laughs> inspire them to, to know more about classical music, to know more about the instruments on the stage, and then, you know, get to know them and actually get interested and start playing. Did you have an experience like that? What was your, how did you pick up the instrument initially? I actually did not. <laughs> As probably you expected, I actually did not pick the instrument. It was actually a very interesting story. Uh, none of my family members picked it for me. It was picked by uh, another teacher since they're saying that it's actually really good you have great hands for this instrument, you have <laughs> great physicality for this instrument, so why don't you try out? I know this teacher that's really great, so try. And then that's how I ended up. I love that she that's mentioned wonderful. her teacher because coming out is really a teaching experience. Whether you're older, younger, they always leave learning more about the musicians, learning more about the music, learning more about the art. How exciting is that for you? There's always an opportunity there. It doesn't matter if you've been to come to concerts all the time. I, I, I learn something from every musical experience I have, if it's a rehearsal or a concert. So yeah, it's, it's, it's an opportunity for everybody. Before each concert at 6.30, we give a pre-concert talk. We talk specifically about the music. Everybody's welcome to come to that as well. Um, so yeah, it's all, always great. And for young people, um, um, young people are our next generation of musicians and audience members and supporters. And so it's that's so important, important that they experience yeah, this. Yeah. Give us the date, time, and location for this concert, and then we're going to have a sneak peek coming up. Wonderful. So it's next Monday, February 12th, 7.30 p.m. at the Davis Theater in downtown Montgomery. You can get your tickets on montgomerysymphony.org. And our talented musician is going to take it away. Go ahead.